Trader Joe's haul. So it's like the best of the best. What is up guys? I am not letting the week start off the way last week started. We are gonna pick up the vibe, guys. I feel like I've been too depressing in the last few vlogs and it's just like, it's just unacceptable. I gotta get back into my like fun, upbeat spirit. So we're gonna try our best and make that happen today. <laughs> Although I will say the morning didn't start off the way that it should have. I, as I say all the time, I love a good Monday. I love starting the week off on a good note. But I was woken up rudely at three in the morning, like three in the morning on the dot, which definitely freaked me out because it's like the ghost hour, I don't know. I was just, you know, peacefully sleeping on my Sunday night and all of a sudden I'm woken up to like, like a fire alarm, fire alarm or security alarm going off at 3 a.m. So I jumped up from my slumber, so confused, it was so loud and so scary and I literally thought someone was breaking into my place because the alarm was going off. So I was like panicking, thinking, oh my God, like do I have to go hide? What the fuck do I do? Do I call the police? I don't. I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do. So I took my phone and I saw on my security alarm app that it wasn't triggered. Uh, the alarm wasn't going off, but there was still an alarm going off. And it was exactly three o'clock on the dot. Um, still don't really know the answer to what happened there. I don't know what alarm it was, but there is some alarm in my home that went off at three in the morning. And I don't know why. I don't really know what it was. So I'm just kind of hoping that's not the, gonna be the case moving forward, like a three in the morning every day thing. I don't know. But it is currently 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm just waiting for my Uber to get here because I'm going to meet Jilly in Santa Monica. She needed some work help, so obviously going to go meet her and help in any way that I can. And there's actually a Trader Joe's a few blocks from where we're going. So I think we're gonna go to the TJ's and get some stuff. I miss Trader Joe's. I very rarely get to go. I haven't been in over a month. Last time I went, I went with Tasha and there's just like long lines outside of Trader Joe's now. You know, because of everything, they aren't letting as many people in, which I really, really love. But yeah, so I don't end up at a Trader Joe's very often. Jill and I used to go every single week together and now it's like a once a month thing. So very excited. I'm gonna try and stock up on my gnocchi because I, I think I finished, I think I maybe have like a half bag left and that's it and then I'm done. So I definitely got to get more of that and then I wanna get more of the blueberry lavender milk for the matchas. I don't know, I just wanna get some essentials. I think I even need more everything but the bagel seasoning. So I'll do a little Trader Joe's haul for you guys when I get back today. I'm very excited. Ooh, actually that reminds me, I wanna bring my reusable bag because every single time I'm at Trader Joe's and I end up stocking up, they actually don't allow you to bring reusable bags right now, which, you know, kind of sucks. Um, and the bags fall apart, I find, very easily. So I'm just going to bring this guy in my purse. And then once we leave Trader Joe's, I'll transfer all of my stuff into this bag. Because since I'm gonna be in an Uber, I really don't want all of my groceries to fall out in the car and then struggle with that. That just seems like an issue that I, I want no interest in. So I'm gonna be heading out any minute. Gotta grab my mask, gotta grab my keys, gotta grab my, my wallet, my stuff. And I will see you guys when I am heading out. Woo, hi, perfect. Good, how are you? This is perfect right here, actually. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, you too. Have a good one. Oh, there's Jill. I see her taking photos. <laughs> I love this for her. Excuse me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was just admiring all of these planters, like stunning. And then I noticed $325. Look, I, I get it. Beautiful, stunning. From every angle. I mean, this guy is not really thriving, That's but. Fine. Yeah, no. This is, I don't understand. I don't think. Erewhon, man. Yeah, I think this is a sign for what we're about to find inside. Yeah, love it for us. I'm actually excited. Yeah, me too. So pretty, though. I know. This is the most LA grocery store ever. ever. Yeah. <laughs> everything is like super organic here. Like, this is just beautiful like everything is displayed nice and look at this like does it get more la than everything coming in these glass jars like it just looks so nice this is like perfect for a beautiful pantry lentils rice yeah. not bad oh and this way too what is this evaporated cane juice never even heard of that <laughs> coconut sugar vegan cake mix look at all this brownie mix so cute just so la oh i've lost jillian oat milk Mocha, 
Wow, let's see what else they have. I can't find Jill now, so. Oh, these look so pretty. I never come to Air One because it's just so bouge. There she is. <laughs> Um, okay, last, I just have one last thing that I need. Okay, fabulous. This is a $10 shot. This thing? Immunity $10. Shot. Crazy. So it's the same price as, wait, how much are these? Oh, 10 bucks. Oh, wow. So 10 bucks for one big drink versus tiny little, little compressed shot. All of these shots are always so expensive. Anywhere you buy. I know. Trader Joe's, I think, is like four bucks. Um, oh, better. It's a coconut. Oh, oh wow. Cute. So we're in the store, Jill's just taking, you know, some shots. And this guy, he came by us like three or four times. Yeah. He looked cute from the eyes. Because he don't mask. Yeah, and so he started asking Jill like what she was doing, <laughs> asking questions. It was very nice actually. And then he was like, what did he ask? Like, how old are you? He said like, oh, do you guys go to school around? Or are you <laughs> yeah. guys in school? And we were like, oh yeah. no, like we've graduated. Yeah, and then he was like, so like 22-ish. And we were like, I'm 20, 26, 25. And he goes, oh, okay. And we were like, how old are you? You said like, oh, are you 22? Yeah. And he was like, oh, no. I'm young. And I was like, well, do you go to school around here? He goes, to me, he was at UCLA. He was like, well, yeah, I mean, I go to high school. <laughs> We were like, got it. Okay, perfect. And then he, he was very nice. And he, oh, was he was so sweet. So, oh, very sweet. and like, good for him for shooting a shot. Well, I've never done that. In a mask. Yeah. And two, high school kid. Yeah. The Bulls. Good for him. Oh. It was very sweet. So wow, this is a look. I actually can't breathe like that. So, Jilly is just grabbing a couple more shots over yeah. here. And then we are going to walk to Trader Joe's and get the goods. Oh, so excited for Trader Joe's. Me too. Like, so, so excited. excited. Oh, we, we have, have arrived. <laughs> oh my god, true. Like, we're 10 minutes away from this point. Yeah. Look at that. I don't see anybody though, so maybe it'll be just us. Yeah, I think we're good to go. And the five minute wait. Wow, this is perfect. I guess there's not going to be a line. This location. Whole Foods right across the street. Not bad. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is a big Trader Joe's, Jill. This might be the biggest Trader Joe's I've ever seen. Literally, I think so. So we're at the self bagging station. So I have to, they, they wouldn't let me just put it in here, which I understand. So. Okay, it is 4 p.m. I just got back and I have my groceries, so we'll do a little grocery haul. A Trader Joe's haul, so it's like the best of the best. So I couldn't fit everything in my reusable bag, so there's a few in here that I'll go through first. So, to start off, I got two of the blueberry lavender almond beverage because I've been using these for my matcha drinks and it's like next level. So I made sure to get two of them because I likely won't be at Trader Joe's for another while. And then I got these jicama wraps. They're thinly sliced jicama, great for tacos. I don't know, I hear good things it's on TikTok, so I really wanna try those for my tacos. I actually got grilled chicken strips. This is not the norm. Uh, most people think I am either vegetarian or vegan. I do not, you know, label what I eat in any way. Like, I don't really think I have any specific diet that I follow. I typically eat more vegetarian, but I sometimes feel a little sluggish throughout the day, and I feel like it's, it's because of the lack of protein. I stay very far away from red meat. I don't go near it, but I do eat some chicken, so I don't cook it for myself or usually have it here at all, but I figured, you know what, let's just, let's try. And then I got two of these juice shots. These were actually only $2 versus the ones at Erewhon that were like $10 for this size, like ridiculous. Just feel like it's a good time to, you know, uh, be a little healthier. Not like I think this is going to make a massive difference in my health. Figured may as well. Actually, I kind of want to try this now. So I got the turmeric one. I actually kind of wish I got more. Oh well. And the absolutely acerola. I've never heard of this. I've actually, I think this one's new. This is a thousand and ten percent daily value of vitamin C. Oh, they're cherries. 100% cold pressed acerola cherries. Let's try it. Ooh, interesting. Oh, it's very lemony. Not what I expected. I don't know. That was fine. And then moving on, we have a lot of stuff. I got popcorn with herbs and spices. I had this like a year ago and it was really good. And then, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I got the artichoke and jalapeno dip. You guys know I eat these kinds of dips all the time, but I've never tried the Trader Joe's one. I am very intrigued. And I have seen on TikTok, some of you guys have recommended this, the chili onion crunch. I picked it up. I actually don't really know what I would put this on. If you guys have this and use it, let me know what you guys usually do with it. I'm sure I'm gonna love this. It sounds very much up my alley. Yeah, so I got this, never tried it. Everything but the bagel dip. I was gonna get more of everything but the bagel seasoning because I'm almost out, but they were fresh out at the store. So could not get. Three bags of sweet potato gnocchi. <laughs> Look, you know what? I just needed to make sure I had these. I had to stock up. And then, oh my God, so Jill and I both got this, the sweet corn burrata and basil ravioli. 
burrata? Are you kidding? It's gonna be so good. So I'm very excited to try this. Sriracha baked tofu, Thai style red curry sauce. I love that stuff. Wild mushroom brie. This is super, super good. I love this. Buffalo ranch chopped salad, vegan mac and cheese. And then I got quite a few cauliflower gnocchi. I just needed to have it. Like I just needed to make sure that I had plenty in the freezer. And I was down to my last half mac. Very happy to have my restock here. This is great. Yeah, so I'm gonna put all of this away in the fridge. I'm going to call my parents, check in, speak to them. And then I'm going to film a couple TikToks, I think. I haven't been on a TikTok game lately. And I wanna get back on it because I always have so much fun when I film TikToks. I can't believe it's already 4 p.m. Day just flew by. It, I blinked and it was over. Oh, my dad said, my dad just sent me a picture of Brady. Look at this shot. Just the fluffy dog. He sends me photos of her all the time, but like, look, look at, he also edited it. <laughs> look at the little paw. Are you kidding me? Oh man, just a fluffy angel. Oh. Hello, doctor. Hello, Bada. Paja. Paja. How are you? I, I got to get my Trader Joe's stuff, so I feel very good about that. That is a good feeling. It is a good feeling. It is now six o'clock, and I'm going to have a little mini glass of wine. I feel like what I should do that might help me to not feel so overwhelmed all the time is if I set actual work hours, which is funny because like, that's just like such a norm for most people, but I have a very uncomfortable conventional job where there's just no hours. You just, you do it, you make it up for yourself. And because of that, I don't set hours and I just work all day and all night. It's like, all I think about is the work that I have to do. Not, there's no like turn off point. I don't get to just like turn off. Because legitimately my life is my work. So I'm thinking maybe that's what I should do. Like, especially while the world is what it is. I'm just gonna finish it, whatever. I need some kind of like divide in my life. I feel like maybe what I do is like a 10 to six. I was thinking nine to five, like a normal nine to five, but if I give myself like an extra hour in the morning just to like maybe do some kind of like self-care activity before I get the day started and do 10 to six, sounds really good. Maybe that's what I'll start this week. I'm just like after six o'clock, I do not work. I just turn off that side of my brain. Sounds like a Probably a good thing for me. Cheers, by the way. Happy Monday. Actually, when this goes live, we're midweek, halfway there. The weekend is approaching. Gotta love that. So you know what? Today is, is wrapping up to be a better day, and I'm happy about that. Normally, I would go and start editing this vlog right now, like all these clips, but you know what? It's six o'clock. I'm turning it off. I'm just gonna maybe online shop, chill, relax, scroll on TikTok, enjoy the evening. I kind of like it. Good morning guys, it is the following day. I didn't end up vlogging, wow, it's my first time speaking today. My voice is raspy. I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the day yesterday. I just kind of wanted to turn off and I am starting on my work schedule today. It is 9.30, so I am not going to any work until 10. I'm like telling myself, don't start editing. Don't start editing. So I am just taking my time making a matcha. Got my teaspoon of matcha powder. Now I'm gonna add my hot water and we mix. I am so excited to have the blueberry lavender almond drink from Trader Joe's back because it just is so good in the matcha. Like, it's kind of the only way I want to drink it. I just added my stevia and now I get to add my delicious milk. It's so good. It just smells like cereal milk. Like, you know when you finish like a really sugary cereal and that milk is so good at the end? That to me is, oh, I'm going to put my ice in. That's what it tastes like to me. And then I just top it off with my French vanilla creamer. And voila. So it's 9.30 right now, and normally like I would start working with my matcha, and I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna work in my office today, so my computer's up there. I'm just trying to think of what I should do right now. I guess maybe I'll just like scroll on TikTok down here. This just doesn't feel natural to me. Like I feel like I should get on my computer. <laughs> okay, we had our TikTok time. It's now 10 o'clock. So I am going up to my office, which I didn't finish cleaning. <laughs> We'll get back to it. Everything is fine. Everything is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> it is quite a bit later. What is up, guys? It's actually 3 p.m. I have been out all afternoon. I had some errands to run that I wasn't vlogging. And now that I'm home, it feels like a snack time. So I'm going to have some of the Trader Joe's artichoke and jalapeno dip. I'm actually so excited to try this. I didn't get my dip last week because I was like, I was eating just too much of it. Like I was eating a lot of crackers and dip. So I was like, I have to give myself a little bit of a break here and then we can get back into it. But then of course I saw this at Trader Joe's yesterday and how was I supposed to say no? It wasn't, so let's try it. I'm very excited. Let's see how it is. I've never tried this one, so I'm curious. Oh my God. This is a very good one. I'm now sad I didn't get two. So I likely won't be at a Trader Joe's again for a while. 
Oh my God, highly recommend Trader Joe's artichoke jalapeno dip. Okay, I'm gonna eat some of this, do a bit of work, and then maybe sit outside, take it easier. My planner is getting here tonight, and that's when I think I'm gonna really start scheduling out my life, and then I can be better. That's the plan. Okay, it is now, it is now eight o'clock. Wow, today flew by, flew by. But it's dinner time and I'm going to make something so yummy. I am so excited. I got HelloFresh again. I've just been like really on a HelloFresh kick lately. As per usual, I will have my HelloFresh link. I think you sign up with my link and then you get like half off or something like that. This is not sponsored, but the link will be there because if you get credit, I get credit and we love that. So tonight I'm making truffled mushroom flatbread. So up my alley, like a pizza. I'm very excited. Just need to chop the mushrooms and the shallots and then cook the mushrooms and the shallots and then throw it in the oven. Okay, 425. I'm very much the kind of person that like, if anything is up in the air, I panic. I like to have control and like know what the fuck's going on. So I'm starting to feel better about my situation because I have a better idea of what the fuck's going on. I will talk about it very soon. But as you can see, my spirits are lifting, which is important. And we're gonna start there first. We gotta get the mental state better and then we'll talk about it. But everything's fine, everything's a-okay, everything's good. We're back at our game. I sat outside in my chair in the sunshine and I wrote in my planner and planned out a whole bunch of stuff. So I feel really good. Now I'm gonna make a yummy dinner. Okay, I changed and put on comfy clothes and now I'm going to cook. Also, I just noticed there's a fly in here and I don't know how it got inside. I always have my screens preventing this stuff. That poor fly. It's just, I guess it's home now. I'm gonna start with the shrooms. done so obviously I'm not eating both because it's for two people I will have one and then one for lunch tomorrow so good but I love HelloFresh I always have leftovers so it's a truffle mushroom flatbread but like knowing what this is gonna be like it's not gonna be truffly enough so I'm gonna put on some of this truffle salt that I got from Trufflin just gonna like sprinkle a little bit see this smells very strong in the truffle flavor so we'll just do like a little a little bit and there's actual truffles in here too and then I'll sprinkle the one for tomorrow Tomorrow. And the last thing is a little bit of the truffle oil that they sent. This is the only like truffle part of the recipe. I just know that that's not quite truffly enough for me. We'll just do a little drizzle. And dinner is done. And that should be the end of the vlog, I guess. I gotta say, it's been a roller coaster of a, the last couple of weeks, just been up and down every day, all over the place, but I feel like things are gonna go up from here and stay stable, so I'm very happy about that. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys on Friday.